One of the most popular questions that skeptics ask is the question, who created God? Now, I think there are really two uh, uh, responses to this, this objection. The first is that if we're talking about evidence of design, uh, asking where the designer came from is just a second question. You know, if we look at Mount Rushmore, for instance, and we say, well, look, the, the, the tight specification of those faces, which look like uh, American presidents, clearly suggests that these are the result of, of a sculptor. These aren't the result of, of wind and erosion. Now, somebody could say, okay, well, where did the sculptor come from? Well, that's a legitimate question, but it, it doesn't even address the initial claim. Uh, it, there's still evidence for design in Mount Rushmore, even if we don't have an answer to where the sculptor came from. So in some ways, the question is an attempt to change the subject. You can answer the question of whether something is designed, at least in principle, even if you don't have an answer to the question, where did the designer come from? But there's really a, a second, more fundamental response to this question, and it's a theological response. If the question is, who created God? Then uh, you're pushed back to the fundamental metaphysical question of what is the fundamental reality? Every worldview is going to have an answer to the question, what's the fundamental reality? That is, what is the thing from which everything else derives? What is the thing that itself doesn't need a cause for its existence? Well, one of the most uh, uh, basic principles in asking these sorts of questions is that whatever the fundamental reality is, it has to be something that's always existed. It can't be something that's mutable, that is, that changes, that decays, or something that we know hasn't always existed. What's interesting about the evidence from the 20th century is that science itself has allowed us to rule out one of the primary candidates for ultimate explanation, the material universe. The best evidence now suggests that the material universe came into existence in the finite past. What that means is that the material universe is now a crummy candidate for ultimate explanation. The theist has always claimed uh, that God is a being who has always existed. He exists necessarily, without cause. Now, the claim isn't uh, that he began to exist uncaused out of nothing. The claim is that he has always existed. Well, there's nothing inconsistent with that claim. So if you're asking the question, what's the best candidate for ultimate existence, God or the material universe? Clearly, God uh, is the best answer, the best alternative to that question. So the answer to the question, who created God, would be no one. God is that fundamental reality which has always existed and which uh, himself does not have a cause.